You know, I just, I guess I'm just that way. I guess it's the Virgo in me, I don't know. But I like to, I don't like to wear, you know, what everybody else is wearing. I just don't, I just don't. I like to look a little bit different. If I can, at all possible. So, yeah, so I got shit to do, y'all. I really got shit to do. I got accessories and shit everywhere, y'all. I mean, every fucking way. Wherever I look. Because, see, I do got some more gold. I might go with gold. You know, I have a lot of fucking accessories, man. A lot, lots, lots of them. I just don't wear them until I get ready to go somewhere. <clears throat> And that's when I come out with my boxes and bags of shit. You know. I was trying to find this other little gold. Oh, for those of you guys that uh, would like to know. Um, my girl reached out to me last night and sent me a message. Who sent you a message, Auntie? Who sent you a message? My girl Mo sent me a message. She sent me a text message last night and she, you know, she had said that she had been sleep, she'd been trying to just sleep it off, you know, sleep the pain away, you know, kind of sleep it off a little bit. Y'all, this motherfucker still holding up. Still holding up, y'all. How about I got this at Christmas time at Charlotte Rue last Christmas and it, this bitch is still kicking. I guess because I don't use it. Yes, because I don't use it, you know. Had a little matter. But uh, anyway, um, y'all, how about one of my partners is getting out of jail tomorrow, y'all? Partner getting out of jail. Shout out to my motherfucking homie Dooley. Uh, he getting out tomorrow. He was one of the pallbearers at my mom's funeral. We cool. We just friends. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was on some whole other bullshit. And this nigga went to jail while I was in the hospital last year. Remember when I was in the hospital? You know, for that surgery and all that bullshit. He was coming to the hospital to come check me out. And um, they hooked that nigga up. So, okay. So, that fool get out on 11, 11, 11. Them niggas talking about barbecuing, bringing out briskets, making German chocolate cakes and shit. I said, damn, uh, the nigga just getting out of jail. You know, so why are we uh, slabs of ribs? That shit ain't even on sale this week. I'm just trying to figure out what we doing. For real? <laughs> Niggas is upset because it's supposed to rain this weekend and shit. Motherfuckers trying to figure out. <laughs> well, we can put the barbecue pit close to the garage so y'all motherfuckers going to die too by having that motherfucking charcoal and shit going in the motherfucking house. Nigga, I don't give a goddamn. Y'all better cut that shit out and make some motherfucking hamburgers or something in the house. Fry some motherfucking chicken or something. Go down in the motherfucking Albertsons and get that chicken. You know what I'm saying? Three ninety nine for twelve pieces. Don't play. You better do some shit like that there. Fuck all that trying to barbecue in the garage. I said, y'all motherfuckers. But I know y'all playing. Yeah, are you serious? Oh, well then I'm, I'm just gonna open up the garage door and I'm just gonna have it at the edge of the garage. Sit your ass down, nigga. For real? On some barbecue? Is it that serious? Is it that sick? Ain't this nigga gonna be out on parole? Any motherfucker? Y'all better sit y'all ass down. Don't be too motherfucking hasty. You know? Um, y'all, how about Saturday? Uh, my kids' school, um, uh, Tioni's school, they did their home visit on Saturday. Now, mind you, my kids do go to a magnet school. Those of you guys that do know. Um, know that my 15-year-old is doing well in his first semester of college. Did I say 15? 15. And uh, he's in his first year of college. Those of you guys that don't know, that don't really watch my channel or just getting up on me or whatever, um, my son was passed out of high school and was brought straight on to college. 
and so his first semester is winding up and he's doing very 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 well he's a biochemical engineering major um he's doing well y'all i mean so thank you guys for those of you guys that were giving me all the well wishes on that um tioni and button they're both in magnet schools tioni is in middle now she's in middle school and isaiah is still in elementary school he's in the fifth grade but both of them also go to a magnet school and y'all um for a little background um because I'm so proud of it. That's why, you know, a lot of times motherfuckers can say whatever they want to, but please let the record show. You know, there's some some things in my life, a lot of motherfuckers might not dig it, but when it comes down to my family and my children, okay, I stood fully present, especially with my parents. I stood fully, did I say fully? Fully present when it came to my parents and came down to my children, and I think that's that is why my life is so blessed today. Um, I'm not going to go no further with that, but um, as far as my children are concerned, um, my kids have been going to magnet schools um, since they started kindergarten. And um, Scholastics is very big with me and Tony. We don't fuck around and we don't play when it comes down to school. Now, those of you guys that also follow me on Facebook know that a couple of weeks ago, no, excuse me, a couple of months ago, actually, it was September 30th, he had a 330 appointment because I refused to get that nigga out of school for a doctor's appointment. It got to be at 330. If they can't get that last appointment of the day, because my kids have not, let me say for the record, have not missed a day of school since they started school, since Head Start. My kids also went to Head Start. And uh, they went to Head Start. They went to preschool. They went to Head Start. They went to kindergarten. And when they went to... Now, preschool, they did miss a couple of days out of preschool. But once they started Head Start to prepare them for school, school, they have not missed a day of school since, pre since Head Start. And so, um, yeah. Yeah. And so now that my son is, uh, is 18, now that my son is 15, he's never ditched. He never missed a day. And it's just, you know, and the boy is, scholastically, he is off the chain. He, um, he tutors at uh, the church. He, he tutors uh, um, um, students, um, high school students, as well as grade school students. Um, at, at the church, he do tutor some adults in their, in their mathematics. Uh, my son is taking geometry. Um, he's, you know, he's he's very, very well advanced. And I know a lot of people say, well, Tina, you know, your kids are so advanced in school and stuff, but your mouth is so toe out. Well, my mouth is so toe out because, you know, still, I mean, I'm just Tina. You know what I mean? I went to college, graduated. I'm, you know, I don't talk about my, my educational background, really. Um, I just don't talk about that. But, you know, I went to school of nursing. Um, yes. So, and their dad is college educated. He's an officer and he's a senior master sergeant and going up for chief. Um, he's, uh, Tony is going up for re-enlistment, um, in January. And he has been in the United States Air Force since he was 19, 18, 19 years old. And Tony will be 44. Would he be 44, nigga? Okay, he was born in 67. I think he'd be 43 or 44 uh, in December. And But my in-laws are all educators, straight out of Grambling State University, straight out of Southern. Um, so I have an educational background. I just act like I ain't got no motherfucking sense sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I just act like it. And it, it kind of trips people out when I hit them with some little intellect because motherfuckers feel like I have none. I did not um, join a sorority, though my sister have. My sisters are both educators. Um, one sister has a bachelor's and going for her master's, and my other sister has a master's. So I don't come from, you know, I don't come from, you know, patty whack type motherfuckers. That's not where the fuck I come from. That's not part of my background, okay? I just choose to be who the fuck I am. This is just who the fuck I am. It's just me. You know, I know my dictation, my dialect can be off the chain sometimes, but it's just what the fuck it is. 
Everybody know it. So they just going to give me a pass. You know, that's just Tina. That's, you know, that's, that. you know, that's just Tina. That's just the way she talks. That's the way she roll, the way she get down. And with, with me being the way that I am, and I embrace it because it's just who I am. You know, I have an array of friends. I have friends that are, you know, that's highly educated to friends that's robbing Peter to pay motherfucking Paul. I got friends in the music industry. I got friends that are, are athletes. You know, I got friends that are in, you know, that are that are actors and actresses. I have an array of people that I deal with. So, but people treat me cool because, I guess, because I just, you know, I just embrace people and I just love people. And, you know, I don't treat people no differently. I don't give a fuck if you have or have not. I mean, I treat everybody the motherfucking same. And motherfuckers that know me... And been in my circle and been in my presence, they'll tell you, you know what, this bitch is just like that in person. I'm just, I'm just who I am. I, it's just what it is. Anyway, back to this motherfucking notice. My daughter had a home visit um, uh, Saturday. And they were supposed to be here from between 8.30 and 11.30. On Saturday. Now, mind you, y'all, I was all over the place. All over the place. Because Tony had to teach a class um, Saturday. He had to teach a, um, uh, a class on base uh, for a UTA weekend. Anyway, um, what happened? I had to take, I, I was supposed to take Isaiah to his football game because he had a football, football game up in Victorville. But, you know, Tony was looking out for me, so he was like, well, Tina, don't take him to Victorville. He's going to ride with, you know, the other part of the coaching staff because Tony is also my baby's one of the coaches on Isaiah's team. Y'all, I have a very busy family. I really, really have a very busy family. Um, so when I come on here to make time for you guys, y'all, I'm seriously making time. It's like a conscious effort. No, I don't have a job. I don't have to work because my, 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 um... I don't want to come off. No, let me not even say that because when when uh, this bitch said, because I am rich, you never say that. I am not rich. I am full of life, though. But, you know, I've been blessed in certain arenas in my life to where I can sit here and talk to y'all motherfuckers and what's happening, girl, and what's happening, dog, and all that motherfucker and all that old shit. You know what I'm saying? So I can kick it a little bit. I can kind of, yeah, kick it a little bit. So, um... But, um, y'all, I was all over the motherfucking place on Saturday. And then, um, um, Tony, um, he had got done with his class early and he was going to the game. So I ended up having not to take Isaiah. Isaiah missed going with the coaches because, um, when, um, his uniform wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, his, 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 his mouthpiece and shit the dog had it i mean it was just going we was just going through on saturday morning and plus the school was coming and so um anyway so um i got this letter yesterday and it says dear parents of my daughter thank you for inviting us into your home the visit was designed for us to not only improve our relationship between the home and school but also to reach out to parents and guardians in the community it is important that Blah, 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 and our families work as partners to encourage academic and social success for all of our champion students. It was a pleasure to talk to you and your family outside of the school setting. As a team, we are positive that we will continue to see growth and success with your student at uh, student this school year. If we can assist you in any way, in any other way, please don't hesitate to contact the school for any or any of the teachers on our team. Thank you for your time, hospitality, and partnership with the school. Sincerely, staff, and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, yeah, so I got that yesterday. And so, but, um, so they do a home visit, and it's not that, like where they coming in and they want to see where the child sleep at, they want to see if the house clean and if you're eating and all that. I mean, because it's obvious that we eating because my children are a little healthy. But, you know, but they, mommy, yeah. let me see what you're looking. Very, very cute. 
Yeah, but I'm going to need you to do something to that head, though. I know. I... And I sure don't want Sebastian in here. He trying to get in here hard, too. No, Mama don't want you in here, fat so. My grease is up in the bathroom. Okay, is Anthony awake? Yeah. Okay. Anything else you need? No. No, I'm, I'm fine. I know tomorrow, um, I think, um, you know, Daddy don't have to work tomorrow as well as you guys don't have to go to school tomorrow. So our point is to go to John's Incredible Pizza and just kind of hang out for the day and kind of do some of that and have some lunch and all at the, um, at the pizza place. Or um, I know Daddy was speaking on perhaps doing um, Knoxbury Farm, um, taking you guys there and stuff. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how the day pans out tomorrow. Okay. Good. Can I get some of the shoes in the backpack? So my backpack has a big hole in the Okay. And your shoes. Them, them dogs was barking. I was looking at your shoes. I said, oh my God. Where's them sketchers at? Well, those aren't, them sketchers right there, them, them motherfuckers need to go in the trash. Okay, I was looking at them motherfuckers. I said, oh my God, this is my baby's favorite motherfucking shoe. Why you don't wear them new white ones? Those white ones? Because I walk better in those black ones because I've been used to it so long. And I can't, I can't wear those other, I can't wear those other sketchers because they're open. They have to. The ones like mine. Okay. No, they are closed. Hand me one of mine's right there. They are closed. I still ain't wore mine yet. They not open toe. Look right up under that that red bag right there. 